This week's episode of the Living Outrageously podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. For a 100% free audiobook of your choice, visit audibletrial.com slash L-O-P. Welcome to the Living Outrageously podcast. This is the show where we teach you how to stop living a boring life and start living outrageously. My name's Dave Thompson. That is Matt the freaking man, Kelly. And this is the show for passionate, creative and intelligent people who want to step up and make their dent in the universe. Matt the freaking Kelly, impossible is an opinion. And if you're staring down the barrel of 40 plus years in a corporate office and you know that's going to suck, this is the place to be. Matt Kelly, we've resurrected an old byline from season one. Very appropriate. But today, man, stuff's blowing up. So excited. It's been a while since we've been on the podcast. It has indeed. It has indeed. In fact, it has been too long. It has been too long. We've been called out on it. People on the Facebook are asking for more LOP. It's been Mm -hmm. like freaking exciting. Actually, there's been a lot of action on the Facebook, Dave. Can I give a few quick shout outs? Yes. Yes. Let's let's do it. Just before you do, Matt Kelly, I do want to to just say the absence has been partly due Mm to, man... I've been shot after that race. Like 100 Ks, it takes it out of you, man. I've mm. been in hibernation. My yeah. body has been aching. Yeah, yeah. I, ne- know. I knew you were clearly very, very far more affected than I think you initially anticipated that you might be, Dave. <laughs> it, it, it was a big ask, a big ask. I was expecting just to wake up the next day and be like, yeah, sweet, let's go do something else. <laughs> Except my knees um, and my patellofemoral joint did not exactly agree. Mm. Matt Kelly... Um, and thank you to the LOP viewers for their patience. But today we are going to deliver huge value, yep. Matt Kelly. It's yep. going to be absolutely massive. First, some air shout outs because people have been very, very involved just recently. They have indeed. Listen, I'm going to smash through this. Thank you to, once again, to Cecily, man. Cecily is cranking out video. Did you hear that video was sick? Death of the sloth. Man, she she is literally pouring out videos so frequently. That is amazing. Um, I've got to give a shout out to Joanna. They launched their own tour company in Canada. A yes. tour company. Man, they've always wanted to do it. Her and I think it's her and a friend. They just did it. That is, yeah. what, what was stopping them? Nothing. So they did it. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Samurai sloth. Sloth dead. Um, let's let's smash through some quick ones. Thanks to Jim. Thanks to uh, Leanne. To Stephanie, as always. Stephanie's always rocking it. To Pryor. To mm. flicking through the Facebook here, Dave. To Wes. To Roz. To man, so many Heaps people. people. We, we had a bit of a shout out during the week asking for where is, where online is their sloth? Where is like the sloth, as Simon Tannock would say, the mm. sloth defeat zone? Where is it? Yeah. And turns out, man, maybe we need, well, I think it's more than a maybe. It needs serious investigation. It's a place called LinkedIn. LinkedIn, LinkedIn. Now, we've we've been on LinkedIn before. We know LinkedIn. We're both on LinkedIn. And I know a lot, apparently, a lot of our Facebook friends are also on LinkedIn. Viewers, if you are on LinkedIn and you want to tell us what you do there, how you act there, who you connect with, whether you connect with people that you work with, that you're friends with, all that sort of feedback is great because what, we're, what we've identified is LinkedIn often equals corporate. Corporate, Mm. often, often, not always, often equals sloth. What does Mm. that mean? Opportunity to go and destroy some sloth. Ah! Listen, it is, we're looking at at, at all of the avenues to samurai sloth across the entire global Mm. interwebs. And it Mm. just so happens that LinkedIn might be a very good place for us to start. So Mm. yeah, let us know if if, if you, if you're on LinkedIn, let us know what you're doing there, Mm. how you act there, what you like about it, what you dislike about it. Because I'll tell you what, there's about to be an LOP attack on LinkedIn and it's going to be epic. I like it. Yeah. Epic. I like it. And people, you want to be part of it. So hit us up, hit us up. Matt Kelly, I got one more shout out. Simon Tannock got in touch. He's launching his children's book that he's had in the wings for many a year, and he's finally doing it. He gave a shout out to the LOP. No, Simon, shout out to you, brother. (laughs) Getting out books for those kids to read. Kids reading books, always a good thing. And I know you're a funny fella, so I'm sure they'll get a giggle out of it. Matt Kelly, we haven't even said what we're talking about today. What are we doing? It's like six minutes in, and we're... Today, huge. Money, Dave. Money. Money, 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 money. Okay, so check this, Matt Kelly. Today's episode is Bomb Chicky Wawa. <laughs> why your current focus on money will not deliver you outrageous results. Yep. Yep. Boom. 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 <laughs> Boom. Boom. This was this when I first learnt this, I was like, wow. 
That's the simplest thing in the world, but damn. Mm. Isn't because, there some because truth behind it? There's so there's this this general populist attitude of it's like it's it's not it's not what do I want or or like what can I strive for? It's well what what should I get or what do other people get? And that's mm. where that's where people are they're like looking at a line of people and going, I sit about there. Between those mm. people and those people, because this is who I am. But it's mm. not necessarily not necessarily the right way to look at it at all. No, at all. where's their so all those so all right, let's let's think about this episode is all about focus. Mm. So those people that are in that little line, as you said, their focus is on completely the wrong things. Mm. All right, it, think about it. One percent of the world's population controls ninety percent of the wealth, or something like that. I don't know if it's not that exact figure. It's something very very close. Matt Kelly, if mm. you're one of those 99% that's getting average results, bloody hell, brother, you got to do something different. All right, <laughs> tonight, man, this, all right, we talk about we talk about things in life being you want outrageous results, well, you follow an outrageous recipe. How do you bake a cake? Well, you add these ingredients in this amount in this order and you get the result. Mm. Well, if your result that you're getting money-wise is sloth, well, tonight you are in luck because we are sharing, Kelly, this, holy damn, this could be worth, this could be worth hundreds of thousands, millions, billions of dollars to the right samurai mm. is the right focus on money. We are sharing with you what the elite, how they focus on money and in what order they prioritize their focus because it's so big. So here's the problem, okay? Mm. Here's the problem. Most people will focus on as their number one priority their living expenses. How do I make rent? How do I make enough to eat tonight? Yeah, so you're talking about I need X dollars, okay? I need X dollars to survive, right? Not X dollars to accomplish, like, you know, to live my dreams. X, I, need, I need X dollars and that covers my rent, my electricity, my internet, my phone, my car. It covers the core, like, the core things that I need it to cover, right? So how can I get X dollars? That's it. Limited to that amount. Mm. Mm. My adult movie subscription, whatever oh, sorry. the. Sorry, I, I, missed, I missed a few key things there. Yeah, yeah. The the five dollar bills for the strip club and all the other stuff that goes in. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever the whatever your necessities are. Now, okay, as a seasoned LOP professional, we samurai would know that what you focus on is what you get. Mm. So if your number one priority with your focus in regards to finances is focusing on making enough money to live, what are you going to get, Matt Kelly? You are going to get the exact amount required to live. <laughs> you are a smart man. <laughs> you are a smart man. I wish I had your brain. No, Dave, I'll tell you what. Ask a good question, get a good answer. Ask a bad question. Get, but, so, so hang on. The, the, is the question I'm asking myself or, or the statement that I'm making to myself is I have to make X or how can I get X? Guess what? Mm. You'll come up with an answer. It will be mm. do this one, this specific thing and you'll get that amount of money. If I need $500 a week, I will get $501 a week. Mm. Explicitly. Explicitly. Mm. Matt, Matt, Matt Kelly, Matt Kelly, truth session. Truth session. Mm. Put your hand up if you have used that mindset at some stage in your life. Truth, yes, guilty, not anymore. Mm. And and pass, pass. Mm. Every, everyone's guilty of it at some stage. And it's not a it's not a bad thing. Like I'm not looking at you going, Matt Kelly, you're such an idiot. I like, <laughs> can't believe you're focused on that. And I'm not hard on myself either. It's just, oh, that's. That's what I used to do back then. Yeah, yeah. Oh. The, the, cool, the cool thing about this, Dave, is that the reason that we're doing this is we've been programmed a certain way. This, mm. is, this, is, this is like you being put in a situation and making these calls, these, these, these brain calls, as in that's what everyone is doing. That's what the 90, 99% are doing. So it must be right. I must be doing the right thing if I'm doing what they're doing. doesn't make it right. In, in fact... If the 99% are doing it, you probably don't want to be doing it. It's certainly the samurai isn't in the 99%. Everything popular is wrong, Matt Kelly. Wow. Yeah, big call. Today, today <laughs> we're sharing everything that's not popular. Like, man, you go out and tell this to people mm. who don't get it, who mm. aren't samurai, and they're just going to be like, uh, yeah, but you it's only the really wealthy people that contribute to charity. 
Yeah. Like they don't they don't get it. Oh, that's only for the really wealthy people. Yeah, well guess what? This is their recipe for how they got wealthy. Mm. God damn, Matt Kelly. You know what? I was trying to explain this to someone and I was like, Well, if someone get, if someone who was really successful and was worth a hundred million dollars came up to me and said, Dave, the recipe for success is that you must take all your clothes off, get a tattoo of Mad Max on your back and streak through the main mall of your city while dancing to Carly Rae Jepsen, Call Me Maybe. Good song, good song. Would, <laughs> Matt Kelly eats dirt, would, <laughs> would you do it? And I'm like, if that was the recipe for, su- for success, for financial success, of course I would freaking do it. <laughs> of course. I'd, I'd, I'd change the pigment colour of my skin so I'd end up like Michael Jackson. Maybe not that, maybe not that, but... <laughs> Do you see what I mean about following the recipe for success? And mm. it may seem a bit uncom- uncommon what we're about to share. Man, Tim Ferriss, uncommon results, un- uncommon solutions get uncommon results. Mm. And living outrageously, man, to the people that live in cubicle world, it's pretty uncommon. Like today, man, today, uncommon. today, today, I went flying. Like I, I think I, I think you need flying. to clarify what you said there, Dave. Because when I go flying, I rock up at the airport and mm-hmm. get and take my seat in the plane, and the plane mm. takes off and it flies and it lands, and I get out and I walk out the airport and I get in my taxi and I go. But you didn't mm. quite do that. No, I got in a Cessna one seven two, flew to Morton Island over the top of North Stradbroke, down to the Gold Coast, and back, and it was awesome. <laughs> It, it was, it was freaking awesome. Pri- private jet. We'll just call it private jet. Something, man. Something I'd wanted to do for years, for years. Mm. And and yesterday I was like, okay, I want to do this. And it happened today. It literally happened like twelve hours after I asked for it. Mm. Un- I, I I went. I'm not going to share all the details, but basically I went through an uncommon approach to make that happen. Very very and uncommon. I yeah. got an uncommon result. Like how how often is it is it that you go hmm, I want to go flying. And then the next day, you're flying a private jet. Like, mm. h- how does that happen? Well, it's not really a jet. It's a light plane. No, but- I'm going to call it a jet. Hey, there was there were <laughs> two people in the plane, and you were sitting there, rocking back, flying it yourself, taking photos, doing whatever you wanted to do. Man, that's that's luxury flying as far as I'm concerned. I don't care what the plane was. Yeah, that's right, Matt Kelly. And when you're 500 feet over beautiful tropical waters at Tangaluma, man, doesn't you could be in a the plane that the Wright brothers flew. It wouldn't matter, would it? It wouldn't at all. Man, that is living outrageously. Textbook outrageous. Anyway, anyway, let's get back to the business. So the third problem with the way that most people focus is or the, the focus on just making enough leads to the scarcity mentality. Mm. And the scarcity mentality is there's not enough. There's not enough time. There's not enough money. I, I can't contribute to charity. I can't make investments. Okay. I can't go and have that experience because there's not enough money. I have to spend all my money living. Yeah. Now, man, that scarcity, that scarcity thing. I it, used to live. It, 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 it I infects used to live people, it, man. Dave. It infects people pretty severely. Pretty severely. It's, it's characteristic of the sloth. Yeah, yeah. And well, you know, and, 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 yeah, and and not just limited to money from the sloth. With regards mm. to everything, like you can't have that because X, mm. or you can't do that because X. It's all following that same model of, like, it wouldn't work for you because X. Like, you, you don't have, you can't have that result. You don't get that. Other people get that. You don't get that. Mm. Well, what if we just decided to just flip all that mm. and go, well, actually, let's try an uncommon approach. Mm. What makes me any different to those who have already done it? The people that have already done it are the ones who samurai the sloth. Absolutely. Mm. And if you want to samurai sloth too, do what they did. Mm. Simple. All right. So it really, it really is easy. You want, you want financial success. You want success in any area. You model the person that has the result that you want. Mm. Follow the recipe. Bake the cake using the ingredients in the order. Bake it at the certain temperature that they say you will get the same result. Mm. So, Matt Kelly, are we ready to find out the recipe? Let's do it. It's been long enough, Dave. You're holding it back. Let's do it. Let's pump it. Get excited, people. You're about to learn this. Can I tell you something? 
this mm. episode, if mm. if p- people who are listening, I know that there's quite a few of you that are going to see this. Mm-mm. There are a few of you that I have total confidence in, and prove me wrong, everyone, please. Right, that I total confidence that are totally able to samurai the sloth, use these tools, and not even be limited to m- making millions of dollars as a result. Mm-mm. Like it's not, it's not to me. It doesn't even make sense that like there's living outrageously viewers that like that will listen that would listen to this and wouldn't take action. If mm. you are one of those people who is willing to do what's different, to take a chance, to ha- like make a stand and go, no, you know what, that is enough. This is what I want to do. These mm. steps could single this single approach could change everything for you, everything. If you've just Matt got to Kelly. literally stand up and do it. I could not have said it better, man. So true, mm. so true. If you're watching this and your finances aren't great, do this, do it, mm. do it now, do it immediately, do this exercise immediately. All right, let's get down to business. Yeah. So, this is where you place your focus. Okay, there's five areas of focus and it's important to get them in the right order Mm -hmm. because most people fuck up the order and they focus on what's least important. They focus on that first. So the first thing to focus on and the first thing to consider is, well, you know what, Matt Kelly, there's actually a bit of a pre-step. Ooh, ooh, pre-step. Can I quickly share the pre-step? All right, go. Go, hit me blind. Go, let's do it. Okay, okay. So if if the universe if we agree that the universe is a catalog from which you can order from, um, your first step is to order the amount of money that you would wish. Now, whatever it is, do not worry yourself with how big a number it is. If you put a number like five billion dollars and you have no idea and your conscious brain is going, yeah, I can't do that. Just forget that for the moment. The conscious brain doesn't need to understand this. Mm. All right. To the unconscious, money is just a number. It, yeah. It's just energy. It doesn't mean anything. So pick a number, pick a number and set it as a goal. So it has to be very specific. So for example, you might say that um, if we're doing a one year goal, you might say it is on or before um, June 2013, and I have made a million dollars in income this financial year, and I feel fucking awesome. Right? So be really specific. Place your order with the universe. So that's the pre step. Mm. The very first step, okay? This is what you focus on. Number one, when you achieve your financial goal, how will you contribute? Which charities will you donate mm. to? Which, f- how do you say it? Philanthropic? <laughs> Phila- philanthropic? <laughs> philanthropic? Philanthropic, yes. Yes, it is. Philanthropic? Yes. Um, yeah. Who will you contribute to? That's the very first question. This is what I, the, I this love is this because you didn't say how much is your rent. That's no. not what you said. You didn't say how much, how much is my car. You didn't say that. You said, how can I change the world? Yes. How can I add value to the world? That was my primary and Mm. initial focus. That is the first thing I focused on. Mm. First thing. Get this clear. First thing. Yeah. Can I tell you something cool? Can I I, I give you a cool one? There's an awesome, awesome charity startup, a charitable organization starting up called BAMGAM, B-A-M-G-A-M dot org. These guys, Mm. I, I know the guys who started it, Awesome initiative. Buy a meal, give a meal, right? Plan is to feed people who are hungry. How are they going to do it? You go to a restaurant, you don't order a meal, proceeds go to people who need meals. <laughs> awesome concept, easy concept. Man, people need to be fed. I want to be part of that. That's awesome. It's cool. It's cool, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, so you, um, 25 cents from your... Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. From, from whatever, your, whatever. From your so, meal? Yeah, yeah. Restaurants opt in and, and like the, whatever they order, they, they will nominate like a Bam Gam menu item and a portion of whatever that cost is will go li- directly to a local charity doing good in that environment. Mm. Plan is to make literally millions of dollars and feed like millions of people. This is amazing, right? Absolutely, Literally man. amazing. How good, is, how good is that for me to stand, like, to stand there and go, you know what? Like first thing I want to do is help grow that. Or, you know, help cure 
AIDS or raise money for cancer research or whatever it is. Like, what if, if I could do anything, if I could have any amount of money, what would I have to make that impact? I love it, Matt Kelly. I love it. That is a life well spent. Oh, that is totally, a lot. How good and is if, that? If you're, on the, if you're on the podcast and you have been for a long time and you haven't worked out that the purpose of life is to serve and improve other people's lives, hmm. maybe you need to go watch the episodes again. Like that, that really is the secret to life is serve mm. others and help others. And Matt Kelly, that's so good. So that is the, the first step. When I achieve my financial goal, what charity will I be able to contribute to? What philanthropic, mm. philanthropic activity will I be able to contribute to? And, yeah. what, and find something that's meaningful for you. Mm. So Fam Gam's really big for you. Um, Go I, there right now. If, that, if, if you love that idea, yeah. right, go learn about it. Take the first step. Find out what they do, how they do it, what their what their goal is, because then you can step back and go. I want to give. I, I want to be able to go here to accomplish this task. Because when you have that clarity, it's really easy to know. Like you know what you mm. want at that point. You know. And secret sauce, Matt Kelly. It's not. It's not. Oh yeah, but but Dave, I contribute to charity. I give like thirty bucks a month to World mm. Vision. Yeah. No, no, no. It's not that. It's not what you currently give i'm talking i'm talking big fuck off awesome you know those big novelty checks yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That, 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 novelty that novelty check has to be ordered in specifically for you yes yeah that's what i'm talking about that is outrageous yeah. 30 bucks a month to world vision is great and yeah no no, no. And by no means are we dissing that because giving any no. money to charity is of crucial importance absolutely yeah. absolutely and if you're living in tanzania and you're giving 30 us dollars a month and you're watching this podcast from Africa or you know, somewhere where the dollar's not so good, that is outrageous. Mm. My point is think big. Yeah. Think big. And what is outrageous? Big novelty check. So that's the first focus. Matt Kelly, wh- you could, you could um, give to that charity. You could build a library, build a school. Mm. Man, education is always good. Mm. We always talk about education. Go find someone that you can educate. Yeah, this so, is like it, it, all it is is how can I add epic, epic value to the world? Forget, forget what I'm currently earning. Forget the world I'm living in right now. If I could give any amount to accomplish any task for that charity, it could be like I want to like like Bam Game is a startup. I want them to have TV ads all over the world. How much mm. do I need? I need X million dollars. I need hundred million dollars to do that. Cool, hundred million dollars. Mm. Done. Write that down. Mm. Any, whatever whatever you want. Okay, number two, Matt Kelly, number two. And this one is, I, lo- I really like this one. The next question is, so we're talking about investments. When I hit my financial goal for this year, mm. what investments will I make? How will I expand my current portfolio? Mm. How will I contribute to my long-term wealth creation? Just ponder those questions for a moment. Mm. So this isn't about, this isn't about short term. It's not about tomorrow. This is what can I do to build the over to 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 grow it in an overall form. Absolutely, mm. absolutely. So we're talking about things like if you've got shares, how much more money can you put mm. into shares? Can you buy an investment property? Mm. Right? Is there some other sort of investment that you could go and learn about and then invest in? Mm. Is there a business startup that you could get involved in? And I know you're pretty red hot on um, on the startups, Matt Kelly. So things like um, what is it? Kickstarter. Kickstarter is a great example of where it's l- less about um, about about the, the monetary I own X shares, but more about supporting other people who are going and building things. Mm. But a great mm. great point. Like I look at well, sites that might- like yeah, no, I look at example. I'll give you an example. Angel List. Mm. Angel List. This site where startups and like angel investors are linking up. Man, go on there and look at some of the awesome startups out there that are trying big things and go, if they succeed, what will that mean for the world? First, there's your charity. B, what will that mean for my long-term financial mm. success? Cool. Bang. There you go. How much so, would I like to put in to mm. do that? And it's almost, you, you, when you're talking about the startups there, it's almost potentially blurring the lines between charity and investment. Because if you're, yeah, some some investment, some uh, startups, you might just look at them and just go, 
well, shit, if that came off, that would help the world. Yeah. Yep, I'm in. Yeah. So um, it could even be, you know what it could be? It could be going out and buying something as boring as government bonds. Or just oh, listen, putting... there's, there's, a, there's a bazillion ways of getting involved with, like, managed share funds or, like, I'm thinking about just various investment funds mm. and financial products. There's heaps. We, we don't condone going and doing it without the recommended financial advice, so do whatever's mm. required to make that happen. But there's a lot of ways of doing it, a lot of ways, and some very stable ways. I look at the sort of high-interest accounts that come out of your, your standard savings accounts, and that's all very simple, relatively low risk, but... Mm. But make sure it's relevant for you. Don't listen to mm. us in respect to your financial, your, exactly. your investments. Exactly. But do listen to us on this point, Matt Kelly. <laughs> yep. and it's straight out of Napoleon Hill. Yep. Take 10% and put it towards your long-term wealth creation. 10% of everything. everything. 10%, 10 of, 10 of what comes in. Mm. Man, that audio book that I got a little while back, um, The Richest Man in Babylon. Yes. He became the richest man course this is a funny funny story so he had chickens right he yep. started out with chickens yep. and the chickens would lay his each chicken would lay 10 eggs mm -hmm. he would always take two of those eggs into his personal um his personal like collection and he would go and sell the other eight he would go and sell the other eight eggs so that he could have money and you know go about his day and, and all these sort mm -hmm. of things but he always kept two two chicken two chicken eggs and then they'd hatch into chickens we'd have more chickens mm. who could who could lay more eggs and then he'd just repeat the whole process so you know your chickens laying eggs keep a couple and mm. then that chicken will lay more eggs then, and... then you have then you have multiple chickens which result in a like m like proportionately higher number of eggs <laughs> you're keeping two it, out of really. that and selling then you're selling double you're selling 16 man Win, win, everyone wins. That's how you do it, man. Napoleon Hill, Napoleon Hill, he's been dead a long time, but let's just send him a little hallelujah from the grave. Th thank Napoleon you. Hill. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You're a dogger. All right. <laughs> All right. But, Matt Kelly, this is so counterintuitive to how most people think. Yeah. Most people, charity investments last. If they've got any money left over at the end of the month, they'll yeah. probably go and get drunk. But, it's, yeah, it is, um, it is very hard. P people will find this challenging. To forget about what they're currently spending on, you know, to live, they'll find it difficult and to, to flip it and think about this. This is where we were talking about unconscious versus, you know, your, your subconscious conscious. mind versus your, versus your conscious, I can't do that. Forget that and literally spin it for a minute. Go, if I could do that, what would I do? Mm. Okay. What do I need to do for my investments, for my future? What would I do then? Yeah. How much would I put in and what would that result in? Think about that first. Mm. Mm. Just try it. I have a little, I have a little tip, Matt Kelly, that I could help help people on that one with. Like, if their conscious mind is at the moment just going, "Oh, Dave, bullshit, 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 bullshit. What about this? What about this? What yeah. about this? What about this? What about this? About this?" If your mind is doing that, let's just show you a little tip, okay? So, what I need you to do is just l bring your eye level to just above, just above head high, and take focus on a point on the wall, and then just expand your awareness so that you're aware of everything around you. All right, and then take your hands and just bring them up a little bit, right? Just bring them up a little bit, just so that they're in the peripherals, okay? Now, really focus on this limiting belief or whatever the bullshit story is. Really focus on this little bullshit story. And now, just wiggle your fingers. Do like a little spirit fingers. Little spirit fingers. Make sure you can just see, just see the spirit fingers in the peripherals of your vision and really focus in on this bullshit belief that you're holding on to, that you can't do it, blah, 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 bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Just wiggle the fingers a bit more and notice notice where you feel that belief, that bullshit belief. Where does it'll it'll no, it'll come up to you somewhere in your body? And just notice that the more that you wiggle your fingers, the more it goes away. And notice how now it's gone. Completely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's I love do it. it. I love it. I love it. That was pretty People, cool. that was a massive bonus. That was huge. Go back, rewind, try it again. Didn't work? Yeah. Rewind, try it again. Keep doing it till yeah. it works because it'll work. <laughs> good, good. I love it. All right, number three. This is the third focus. And Matt Kelly, this is where I get excited because this is what I love. This is awesome. All right, L-O-P, 
Samurai, all about the experience. Give me the number one experience in life that you can have. I want to do everything. I want to experience the very finest the world has to offer. Mm. Give it to me. First class, baby. Lobster express to my house. Go and list out. Ask yourself this question. When I reach my financial goals for this year, which experiences would I like to have? Mm. Matt Kelly, what? let it rain what here, brother. will... I do what will I do what fun will I have what action will I take to celebrate my life what experiences do I need to have okay this is where you think like let your brain literally like let your whole mind expand think like mm. yeah, no limitations here if no. you wanna, if you want to go climb Everest and then get in the helicopter and then fly back down and go and eat the best food in the world right wherever that is for you right and then get on your jet ski Okay, and ride over, and ride over to your boat where you're parasailing out the back, right? And then you're gonna release the parachute and float down and land on a dance party and dance all night. If that's the experience <laughs> that you want, man, write it explicitly. Write every single aspect of it. Go into great depth about the crazy, awesome time you are gonna have. Experiences. This is about the Everest climb. This is about the jumping out of the plane. This is about the eating the, the, the Alaskan king crab, wherever you want in the world because it's been <laughs> flown to you. This is whatever you want. Experience it, experience it, experience it. You've, do, is... you've done the charity. You've done the investment. This is the celebration. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, we're good at that. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, this is how we do <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. I want to party with our viewers one day, man. I, Very I, soon. I think something Let's might Let's arrange that. There. Let's arrange that. Let's, man, do you know how massive that party would be? It would be freaking... Can I can I just put can I just put something out there, Dave? Yes. I think we might line something up, a little bit of a party, in the, in the future months. Let's, let's pen, let, pencil that in. Pencil let's that in. um let's request that from the universe. Mm. Let's do that. Mm. From I like that. I mm. like the sound of that. So Matt Kelly, it can be anything, man. You can take, as you said, you can do all that crazy adventure stuff. You can just simply take first class cruise to Hawaii. You might want to go to Antarctica and see the penguins. Mm. You might just want to go to a fine, fine dining restaurant and have an amazing meal with a hot date. Anything, you might just want to go to you the want. and drink wine. Absolutely anything. You might want to go and see Bon Jovi in concert. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. Did I, did, did I default to the extreme? I apologise. I apologise. Well, Matt, Matt Kelly. It's, Matt it's, Kelly. My, it's my living outrageously way. I, I haven't... I, I have not heard you say that you would like to summit Everest until then. So I, mm. I did get quite excited because... You know, your outrageous didn't always include those things. So no, no, no. That's a crazy adventure, outrageous. No, that that. And you know what? Man, the more I think about it, the more that should happen. <laughs> it's probably a, it's probably a, a, a it's probably like a, a month long adventure there on, on in that trail of things that I could add to and and change up and make bigger and better. And it could invo involve flying like you know my own plane around somewhere. And man, that's the experience. Because like, you know that you know that I would totally do everything that you just said. Yeah, you would, and, and 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 you know what? You might beat me to it. So what is oh. that? What, what is that? What does that mean? I will, Whoa. Matt Kelly. Whoa. I will. See, there you go. I there will. you go. Come out. Competition. Come Competition. Out See, so what? What this means is, I want it even more now. <laughs> yeah. I I need to have those experiences. Oh man, this is a sloth free zone tonight, oh, isn't it? It's awesome. It's awesome. It's how good? How good is it being? It's like, just feel the samurai in you. Like, just. Like, I, I don't know, like, are you getting that feeling right now, that warm feeling of like, I don't even care, I don't even care. Someone come to me, to, tomorrow I could be walking down the road and see a bazillion sloth ridden people. And you know what, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Because you see, once you've got this clarity, you know where you're going. And it, man, clarity is everything. Is everything. And that's what this exercise is about. But we need to keep, keep, we need to keep going, we need to keep going. Let's, uh, let's do it. Okay, yeah. so, so, so first point of call for focus is how are you going to contribute? Second point of call is what are you going to invest in to mm. create sustainable long-term wealth for yourself? Third is what experiences do I want? And fourth, Matt Kelly, this is where we finally get to living expenses. Rent? You focus finally? On, rent? Last? What? You focus on this fourth. 
I love it. Okay. I love it. So you're taking the things that people usually focus on first. They usually say that this is the amount that I need to survive, the $500 a week or whatever it is, right? This is what I actually need. Therefore, I need to make $500. You're saying, the, am I clear here? That's the last thing you should be focused on? That's the second last. Oh, sorry, sorry. Fourth, fourth, second fourth. last. Fourth. Now, a couple of interesting things happen when you put living expenses at number fourth in your focus. Mm. One of them is that, and you know this yourself, Matt Kelly, you have a bit of a giggle when you look at the living expenses and go, it's actually pretty small. Yeah. Oh, totally. Totally. Man, if you sit there, okay, I, I feel like we've got a very... um. A very, we're not dealing with, like, most of the viewers here aren't from emerging countries. They're, they're you know, we're talking very first world here. If you've got access oh, to we've the got internet. A, we've got a few fans in India, man. We do, no, we do, we do. There was that, I forget that gentleman's name, but he was on, he commented on the on the Facebook a little we while do. back. We do, we do, we mm. certainly do. But I'm, I'm talking about if you've got access to internet, iPhones, it's all syncing up. Man, so you're sitting there and you're going, okay, so my rent might be a thousand dollars a blah or a whatever. But stand back. And, and go, like, what do I actually need to spend money on? What, what, what do I need? What is this actually costing me? If you're making that amount, doing this exercise backwards, as in, if, my, if the amount that I need is $1,000, okay, and I'm making $1,000, and I, and I now know the exercise is backwards and I'm making the minimum amount required, it's pretty simple, like... I can stand back and go, actually, that's clearly not that much because if I was doing the other things, that would be like the, the, the second last thing. That would be this big in the list of all the things that I want to do. So what does that actually mean? Well, it means that all of a sudden, like, it's almost got a level of insignificance. It's like, I can make that whatever I want it to be. If I want, if I want to spend $1,000, I spend $1,000. If I want to spend a half a million dollars on that, I can. If I want to spend more than that, if I want to spend $100 million, I can. But if you and do you know what the massive yeah, people focus on the wrong side. And you know what the massive flip here is? So most people focus on living expenses first. They're living in that scarcity mentality. Mm. You focus on living expenses down the bottom and number four, that's abundance, man. That is abundance. If you've done all of those other things to the extent that you want to, and we're talking about the, the millions or the huge, whatever the big numbers are to you, right? If you're doing all of those things first and then you get to living expenses and you're like, oh, no problem, you've done it. You've done the exercise properly. You've successfully awesome. completed the samurai task. Indeed, Matt Kelly. And this brings us to number five, which is pretty similar to number four. There's, I'm guessing there's probably a fair percentage of LOP viewers who are... If they're not business owners, they want to be business owners. Business expenses. Mm. Business expenses. Focus about business expenses last. Yeah. Last. It's much the same Much the same mentality. What you'll realize, especially if you're running an internet business, the expenses are pretty small. It'll flick you from that scarcity mentality to that abundance mentality, mm -hmm. and you're away. But it's the complete reverse of what most people do. Oh, I don't have enough to make this investment in my business or... You know, if so only I had, like, if only I had this, my I would get this result. Yes. But it's not. It's not like that. It's not like that. No. That's that's. It's completely the opposite of that. It's, I want this result. Oh, okay. So by default, this becomes that. Oh, done. Mm. Done. Mm. Take away the, the dependency on the money to equal the result. And aim for the result. The money just comes with it. Mm-hmm. Amazing. You know what, you know, Matt Kelly, this is so awesome. You know what the whole, the whole purpose of placing your focus in this, play, in, in this way, like sure, you get to serve and contribute and all this stuff. But if you've gone through this exercise with us and gone, okay, specifically what charity will I invest, uh, will I donate to? Specifically, what investment do I want to make? Specifically, what experience do I want and how much will that cost? Yeah. What are my living expenses? What are my business expenses? When you look at all those, doesn't mm -hmm. that add up to a fairly, largely, massively, compellingly outrageous why? Mm. Yes, mm. a massive why. And is it also true that... When you know why you want to do something, the how always reveals itself. Think about it. Anything that you've ever achieved, 
It was because you knew why you were doing it. You go to work and sit in a shit job, in a cubicle, shuffle paper, put your hand up. If you've sat in a job and gone, why am I here? <laughs> yep, I've done that. Did it a lot. It's shit. Don't want to do it. <laughs> if you're doing what? it, if you're doing it and you know it's absolutely the opposite of what you should be doing, then your arm should be raised. Hmm. If you know why, the how will reveal itself. Mm. So I've shared, I've shared this with people. I've shared this with clients. And they're like, but Dave, it's to help me to know how to start my business. I'm like, well, dude, you don't need to know the how. When you know the why, you'll find the how. Mm. Mm. The, 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 the how has to come when you've got the why. Like, this is what I'm going for. This is what I need. This is, this is it. This is the outcome. So, so I'm just gonna keep like I'm gonna find a journey. The journey is the journey is actually the easy part. It's, it, how's that for for mind blowing? Like you know what? The the business isn't even the hard part. The hard part is going. What what do I actually want? And, yeah. and you know what? If you've done the exercise, you've already done it. Yes. The hard part's finished. <laughs> dude, man, dude, are you getting? Do you are you just feeling that? This episode could have profound a profound ripple effect. Man, I said it earlier. I know a couple, at least a few viewers, and and as I said, I would love for many more to prove me wrong that will actually reach out to us because they're taking action on it. Dave, there's a number that will. There's a number of them that will. And you know what? There's plenty. Don't don't be one of the ones that don't. Don't sit back passively watching. And do nothing because if you do that, it's sloth. But the mm. ones that do, like this is the, this is one of those single episodes, Dave. We've only had a few ones that I, that I sit back and I go like, like the, that that could be the, the turning point for someone. That mm. could be like the, the the flick or the switch mm. or the like. Wait a minute, like light switch, bam! My life has like has just changed. It could mm. literally just change if you empower your life to change. Think about this one, Matt Kelly. So you're in a dark warehouse and you walk into that warehouse and you've only got a tiny little flashlight that's on your head mm -hmm. and you've only been looking in this corner all your life because yeah. that's where that's where your parents told you to look. Mm -hmm. That's where all your friends are looking. That's where society tells you to look. That's where MTV tells you to look. And you've been looking and you're like, eh, that's shit, but... It's all there is. Everyone, and everyone else, else is doing, else is doing it. it. Yep. Everyone else is doing it. Well, guess what? Guess what? There's some crazy motherfucking living outrageously samurai who have got, they've got the same torch as you. Mm. Exactly the same torch. They're born with the same brain, brother. Mm. And you know what? They're focusing up here. Up here in the warehouse. And up here in the warehouse is, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. That's mm. That, yeah. that. That is where I need to be. <laughs> Where's your torch shining in the warehouse? Well, that's a that's a great analogy. I like that one. That's a really mm. good one. Mm. Nice. We've just shared it with you, man. We've just shared it with you. Most mm. people, the focus is down here. Shit focus, results. Focus, focus where everybody else is. Everyone will no. make excuses as to why they can't turn their head. No. Everyone will say, I can't. I can't. This is the way I've always done it. Everyone tells me to do it. Everyone else does it. But guess what? Guess what? There'll be a few that have. You look at the successful people in the world, the people who are epically successful to you, they're the ones that have switched. Mm. All you've got to do is turn your head. Matt Kelly, honestly, man, I can't believe this shit is free. I love it. I if, love it. Man, I love if it. If this is free, imagine what the paid stuff is. Hot yeah. damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot damn. Anyway, anyway, let's move on. Let's move on because, dude, that that is mind blowing. Can I give a quick tip? This, is, this has been plaguing my mind. I want to give a quick tip right now. Epic content, outrageous content. But, but we're, 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 we've dressed up a bit tonight, Dave. Oh, yes. I've, I've dressed up a bit. And this is my quick tip, right? I want to do a quick tip. My mm. quick tip is dress for success. Dress in a way that makes you feel epic confident. Mm. Okay, so right now I'm going for my confident like web developer slash IT slash man. I can handle that craziness. That's what I'm feeling right now. Mm. I've got the tie. I've got the little my little Tom. Is that Tommy? My little Tommy. My little Tommy <laughs> jumper. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling like 
I could mm. walk into any environment right now and expand the Kelly Coliseum. Shout out to previous oh, episode. Yeah. Oh, walk yeah. in there and just go, you know what? Man, I'm, I'm going to like just push it out. Just push it out. You are now in the Kelly Coliseum. This is I it. This boss. is real. I am boss. Bring it. Yeah. And there you go. Come at there you go, and and I, I want to I want to give you a shout out for the the line that you said to me earlier, and I believe mm. this is from um your good mate Tritter. Yeah, your good mate yeah, Tritter, yeah. Which was I'll, it, I'll let you you say it, you say it. What what is yeah, it? Yeah, I'll share it. I'll share it. So um, so yeah, shout out to Tritter, man. He's just he's just nailed a massive property deal over in New York, mm. doing a property in Pittsburgh. Just like literally, he's been doing it tough, but now the bank is just like. Woo! Yeah, like yeah. happy days. And you know what he said to me? He's like, Dave, you got to dress like you're the Sultan of Brunei on vacation. Mm. I love it. I <laughs> love it. If you were the Sultan of Brunei, well, I'd probably be a bit darker than I currently am, but <laughs> how would he dress? So, boom. There you go. Boom. There you go. That's the, it's the power play. It's the, when I walk in a room... This is what makes me feel like I own it. Mm. That's what I and, do. And you know what, Matt Kelly? You know what? Some people might have the limiting belief, oh, if you dress up, then all the people that dress up are up themselves. You know, they mm. think they're too mm. cool. Mm. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just flip that. How about you think about it this way? Remember Clark, Remember Superman, right? Mm. He, he was not Superman all the time, was he? He cruised about town looking exactly like other people. And then he could flick the switch, go to Superman. What if every morning you woke up and you looked in your wardrobe and you were like, okay, what look do I want to go for today? Am I going to go for the the web developer boss hmm. outfit or am I going to go for the Sultan of Brunei on vacation outfit? Or am I going for the, Am I if you're a lady, am I going for the foxy lady outfit? Or the power suit. The, the power, power suit. suit. Or how about something in sport? Like, am I going for the, um, what's the US swimmer's name? Michael Phelps? Michael, yeah. Am I going for the Michael Phelps? I'm a freaking seven-time, billion-time gold medalist. <laughs> what look are you going for? It's, 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 man, if you're a kid, if you're a kid and you like playing dress up, well, guess what? You just rediscovered how to dress up because yeah. that's what you do, man. You wake up and go, yeah, all right, I'm playing dress up today. What am I going to wear? Which character am I going to be? Yeah, all yeah. right, let's do it. Mm. Let yourself, let you literally let yourself go. I wanna, I wanna be that person. Or today, like I feel a need to be confident in that skin. So you know mm -hmm. what? If it makes you feel confident, if if it helps you, do it. If it feels mm -hmm. good, do it. So mm -hmm. if it, if it means go and put it on and wear the tie, if that makes you feel good, then do it. If it doesn't, don't. Mm. Don't make maybe it uncomfortable. Don't. Maybe under it, no circumstances. Maybe, maybe it's time to go get rid of some of your old shit. There you go. Hmm. All right, wow. all right, wow. Kelly. Well, man, we're just letting it rain today. Yeah. Letting it rain. It feels man, good. It feels um, good to be back. Oh man, does it what? Does it what? Mm. We have a Audible book tip, mm. and I will tell you what that book is as soon as Matt Kelly informs you of where you can go to get this book for free. So before you do anything, before you do anything, you are now, while you're watching this, going to go to www dot audibletrial.com slash L-O-P. Mm. Now, then, before you click anything, you're going to sign up right there because you're going to get a month free. On us. On us with Audible, a month free, completely free, right? And if you like it, you can stick around. If you don't, you can leave at any time. You can cancel at any time. There's no cancellation costs. They're not going to bill you. If you cancel, that's all good. And you know what? You're going to get a book for free, completely and, free. And this episode, we recommend that you go and check out any of Napoleon Hill's material. Yep. He, Napoleon Hill has a couple of books on there, Dave. Smart dude, man. Mm. Can Grow Rich is quite good. Mm. Um, what's the other one? Something about riches, pathway to riches, or something like that. Yep, yep, yep. I've got the, ro the road to riches is right the road there. Road to riches. Ah, it was a road. Yep, it wasn't yep. a path. Th think and grow. Yeah, think and grow rich, and also Napoleon Hill in his own voice, rare recordings of his lectures. How would that? Mm. Man, that would be interesting. That would be cool. Do you know the story of him? He was um he was a poor dude, mm. and he wanted to get rich, 
So he actually went out and interviewed as many rich people as he could know. And then he, he was like, just, you know, what do you do to get rich? And they told him and then mm. he knew and mm. he became rich. Talk about the recipe, Dave. Go learn the recipe, get the ingredients, put them in the bowl, mix them up. Surprise. Success. Make, make cake. Make cake. And on that note, Matt Kelly, if there's nothing more to say, this has been sensational. This mm. has been great. This has been really, really good. Man, I've got to say it again. I can't believe this shit is free. I know. I, know. I can't believe it's free, man. Mm. Imagine what the paid shit is like. Yeah, yeah. Holy yeah. damn. All right. Dave, before, before we end up, just a really yes. quick one. If you like the show, go and do us a favor. If you haven't already, jump on iTunes. Give us yes. an iTunes review. It's really simple. Go on iTunes, look up the podcast, go to the bottom, write a review. It really does help us, um, especially the five stars. But you know what? Even if you don't want to give us five stars, give us a review anyway. I'm cool mm. with that. Please, please be honest. Tell us what you think. Mm. You can also get us on Facebook, facebook.com slash living outrageously. Dave, what do we want people to talk about today on Facebook? Okay, so jump on the Facebook and we're going to post a question there. What we want to know is... Which charity are you going to contribute to? What investments are you going to make? You don't have to tell us specifically, but just go, yeah, I'm doing this. And what, especially, because we know that LOP Samurai love experiences, what experiences are you going to go out and, and take charge yeah. of? Amazing. So, so get involved. Get involved. Go, go, like, take action. Take action immediately and go and research these things. Change your life immediately and work those things out. Matt Kelly, if, it's Dave, been a wrap. Dave, if people do that, man, that's amazing. And you know what? You're telling us I am taking action. And guess mm. what? That means that we'll keep you accountable. We'll mm. literally know what you're working on. We know Simon's working on his book now. And so does everyone. So guess what? Mm. Simon is now going to keep us up to date. Or we're going to be like, hey, Simon. What's going on? Where's the book? Where's the book? Where's the book? It's not sloth. No? Good, good. Keep going. Yeah. Man, the accountability is massive. Let us like get involved, help you push forward, break the barriers. And if you use LinkedIn, tell us about it. Tell us what you like, what you don't like, and all that stuff. Man, Dave Thompson, I'm excited. That was awesome. That's a wrap. Woo! Matt man. Kelly, man, my absolute pleasure. Very grateful mm. for your, your, your genius self being on this podcast. Very grateful that anyone even listens to us dribble, man. Like I, always, always. I tell, you know, you know what? This we, like we would have stopped a long time ago if people didn't reach out to us and tell us, like, man, mm. keep going. It's awesome. That that excites us more than anything. It excites mm. me every day. We still ring each other and go like, holy shit, this is amazing. Like people <laughs> are people are talking and loving it and whatever. Like this is it's just the coolest thing. So if you are samurai the sloth, let us know. Mm. Matt Kelly, that's a wrap. Let's do it. My name's Dave Thompson. That is Matt the Freaking Man Kelly. Impossible is an opinion. And LOP Samurai, we will see you on the other side. Peace out, everyone.